In 2015, friends gave us their tickets to the Cincinnati Summer Fest Square Dance Weekend, which they were not going to be able to use. We danced to nationally renowned callers Jack Pilates and Jerry Story. Jerry had a handout describing a 2016 Square Dance tour of Bavaria, where he and Tony Oxidine would be calling. Lynn was most persuasive. In September 2016, we flew into Munich and were bused to Grassau. Most of the group stayed at Hotel Sperrer. There was not enough room for all, so a few couples stayed at a lovely guest house. The second day was more relaxed. We visited a historic German farm and we met our entire tour group. After dinner, we danced to Tony and Jerry in a converted barn. salt mines. Dressed as workers, we slid down the slides into the mine. Lynn decided we should take the trail up to the top of the eagle's nest at Birchesgaden. At the top, a few of us formed a square and danced. The trip down in the elevator required less energy. We returned to Amarong to visit the German Automobile Museum. They had very early examples of motorized vehicles we saw a Volkswagen Golf disassembled into parts and a model train display. There are five seasons in Munich, spring, summer, Oktoberfest, autumn, and fall. We arrived in Munich during Oktoberfest. It's a great excuse for them to party and celebrate their Bavarian heritage. We enjoyed watching the parade. <laughs> visited New Schwanstein Castle, which was the inspiration for the Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland. We had a brief stop in Over Amigal where there are lovely gift shops. Then we attended a dinner dance hosted by the Zugspitz Promenader Square Dance Club. Another day, another castle. This one is the Kimsey Castle. The surrounding area has a lot of wildlife. Castle entrance and fountains were all very impressive. It took only one kilogram of gold to decorate all of the rooms, and every room was gold plated. Today we went to Munich for a tour of the city. Our guide showed us many buildings and churches. We noticed an advertisement sign for German costumes and Lynn purchased Dirndl. Today we visited Innsbruck, Austria. 
Everyone getting married has to come to the Golden Roof of Innsbruck. It's the marriage registration office. Then off to Vinegast, a reception hall used by the Flying Dandelion Square Dance Club for a dinner dance. Neither Germany nor Austria wanted Wright and Winkel because it's way up in the mountains. Before snow plows, it was most impossible to get to. So they had a card game where the winner gets to decide whether to keep the town or give it to the loser. Austria won and said Germany had to keep the town. Now it's a great tourist destination. For our after dinner entertainment at the hotel, we observed a Bavarian slap dance demonstration. In the morning, we enjoyed the annual Grassau Market. It was very interesting to see the traditional German country goods. Later in the day, we joined the German square dancers in the 40-year Jubileum dance, celebrating one of their callers. Many clubs came to dance. Our last day in Bavaria, we went to Salzburg to tour that city. We enjoyed walking through the areas where the sound of music was filmed. We visited Gethrida Gasse Street with a classy McDonald's. Mozart's birthplace is here with a manual doorbell for each floor. The Salzburg Cathedral has a statue of Mary which, if viewed from the plaza, has her crowned by the background cherubs. We took the funicular train to the top of the hill to the Hohen Salzburg Fortress. Up there, there's a lovely view of the city and the river with its bridges. And you notice that many bridges have padlocks symbolizing the love of a couple. In the evening, for the big finale, we enjoyed a Mozart dinner theater. Musicians dressed in period costumes performed Mozart compositions while we ate. Some of our last memories were of the self-service flower area and the very well-maintained Grasso Cemetery. The last evening of our tour, we danced to Tony and Jerry. We returned home and received the cutest couple award for our costumes at our ward Halloween party.